Hi guys, it's Alpha and I'm going to walk you through steps on how to recover your Facebook account up to the point of you being able to reset your Facebook password in case the account was hacked and those details were tampered with. This also works in case after choosing your account on the recovery page, you don't have the option of no longer have access to this. So I'll give you tips on how to get that option. And also in case it's your first time visiting the channel, just make sure that you subscribe and also turn on all notifications so that you'll be updated every time I make more related tutorials on Facebook recovery and others. And also in case you encounter any challenge or if some parts of the video here don't work for you or are not clear for you, then you can go to the playlist section on the channel Then you'll be able to find other related tutorials in regards to what you're facing. Now to begin with step one is for you to open your browser and then on the search bar, you're going to search for accessing and downloading. Or you can just type accessing, then it will predict. Then you select accessing and downloading. So in the search results, there are two options, the first one and the second one. But you're going to select the second option because the first one usually takes time to load. So then under that, you select account access troubleshooting then select next so from there you select my account has been hacked then select next then you click secure by going to the help center so you click on that link so then it will take you to this page so now under hacked accounts you click on that little drop down arrow in the first option then for now you don't click on that get started button instead you click on visit this page then you'll be redirected to the page that helps you report a compromised account so then you're going to click my account is compromised so then from here in the login page they'll require you to enter your email phone number the password but remember you don't have access to those details so that means the only option available is for you to click on forgot password so then when you click on that, it will ask you to enter your mobile number, but you select search by your email or name instead. Then you can enter the full name that was on your Facebook account. Then you go ahead and search. Then your account name will be shown, but then they will ask you to try entering your password. You can try, but it won't work. So instead you're going to click try another way. So then from there, it will take you to the next part. But apparently most people don't have the option of no longer have access to this which would enable you set a new login email and also confirm your identity so i'll put the article in the description of the video that describes the reason as to why you don't have the option of no longer have access to this and i've also tried sharing some of the possible solutions to this in my previous videos which i'm going to put at the end screen so that you can check out but for now i'll show you just a quick one whereby you can try switching your network connection. So if previously you used to log in via mobile data and now you're using Wi-Fi, then you have to switch from Wi-Fi to mobile data. Or if you used to log in via Wi-Fi and now you're using mobile data, then you have to switch the other way around. So of course the other option is to make sure that you're in an area that you normally log in from. Because if you change the area, then you've changed the IP address and that is also what affects that. So then after that, now you can proceed. You're going to open a new tab on your browser. Then you go to the search bar. Then search for Facebook help. So then after that, you go ahead and search. Then you select Facebook help or help center. But I would prefer you select Facebook help. Then you'll be redirected to the help center so now in the help center you're going to click on the three dash menu at the right then you select policies and reporting the fourth option then select hacked and fake accounts the third last option from the bottom then now under hacked accounts you select the first option and then you click on the little drop down arrow then this time around under try guided help you click on get started 
So then you go ahead and answer the queries. Someone else gained access to my account. Then after that, uh, no, I can't log in. Then proceed. No, I don't have access to the email or phone number. So then you click on the link that is provided in facebook.com stroke login stroke identify. So when you click on that, then it takes you to this other page. So before you proceed, you click on the three dots at the top right corner. Then you make sure that you enable desktop site. Then now you can go ahead and fill in the details. So it will ask for the phone number or email. But then you're going to enter the name of the account. So you make sure that you enter the full name that was on the account. Then select search. So in the search results, it's most likely to bring your account. Then you select this is my account. So here also it will ask for the password, but you're going to click try another way. So you don't enter the password, just click try another way. So then yeah, it will be able to show the option of no longer have access to this. So but as I said, if it doesn't show, then you can keep trying several times with the same network connection. But still I'll be updating you on more methods on how to get this. So just make sure that you're subscribed and the notification bell is on. Then when you click on that, you'll be able to proceed and Facebook will send you a new email that contains a new login link that you can use for resetting your Facebook password. So that is it for now. Thanks for watching. I'll keep bringing more tutorials. So just make sure that you're subscribed and also share this video to your friends and I hope to see you in the next one.